Hi everybody, I'm Suzanne Seitz from Switzerland. Uh, I've created an art collection over 30 years ago and uh, started my passion. We started with uh, young people of the 80s. Uh, really, we had Rauschenberg, we had uh, pieces by Andy Warhol, and of course, Jean-Michel Basquiat. And so this was the very beginning when they were still very young. The important thing about contemporary art is that it reflects the now. Uh, this is really what the now is and what the artist represents. Uh, so uh, this was very important to us. Let's start with uh, Rosemary Trockel. Her work is inspired by pop art. She appropriates the symbols, usually connected to man's culture, to change her context to become decorative and question the woman's role in the world of art. The baklava is undoubtedly her work that resumes all of that best. Created in 1986, it is composed of five kagos of industrially knitted wool with openings for the eyes. Mounted over a glass blown head, side by side on a stand of plexi and metal. This is a very important work because of the symbols it represents, the change with the evolution of society. Ellen Sturtevon is one of my favorites. She's best known for her repetitions of the works of other artists. Her aim was not to achieve an exact replica, but rather to address notions of authenticity, authorship or originality. Begun in 64, Warhol's flowers were the earliest works in Sturtevant's earth. The same year that Warhol made and exhibited the flowers at Leo Castelli Gallery, the silk screens. When he was asked how he made his silk screen works, he famously replied, ask Elaine. I met Andy because uh, we were supposed to do a portrait. And so uh, I went to him and uh, was really impressed by the personage that he is, a great, great person. We did the, seat, the sitting with my son because I thought it would be nice for my son to have a picture with him and me together. And so, uh, Andy called me like a couple of weeks later and said, Suzanne, can you come by? The work is ready, come and see it. And I was very excited and I went to the studio and uh, saw the paintings. Um, they were beautiful, but they were not me. So I took all my courage and said to Andy, well, I think they're really beautiful, but you know, I'm somebody that always laughs. And in all of his paintings, you can always see that the people have their lips closed. So I said, you know, I will be, give this painting to my son. Uh, so I would love him to remember me as I am. I am like funny, witty, and not a very serious person. So Andy looked at me and he said, so what would you like? I said, well, you know, I would like to be smiling and maybe, you know, the background a little more gay and so on. <laughs> So then left and Andy called me again a couple of weeks later and I said, oh my God, he must be so furious. He didn't say a lot, but when I come back, he looked at me and he said, okay, now see, do you like these? And there were three paintings ready, really beautiful, smiling. And I said, oh, I love them. And he said, okay, I admire your courage. I never had a client telling me that they didn't really like the stuff I did and you can have them all.